Hello, my name is Josh. Welcome back to my channel. And today I will be reviewing the Andar Pilot Wallet. The question, is this wallet worth it? Now, if you are a current subscriber to this channel, you know that I am mostly a vlogging channel. And you're probably thinking, Josh, what are you doing reviewing stuff? You are a vlogging channel, stay in your lane, boy. But this wallet has gotten so much hype ever since Lou from Unbox Therapy covered it in one of his newer videos. Bag? Ooh, we have a child. So, no hesitation, I can put them all in at once and watch what happens when I hit the switch. Check this out. Boom, see how they're fanned out? You can see them all. So if you are on the market for a new wallet, please check out his video, link will be in the description below. He does some amazing work, you will not regret subscribing. Obviously, I'm one of those people who jumped right on that hype train and was able to order one of these wallets before they were sold out. I think they're still sold out. So, is this wallet worth it? Is it worth waiting for? Is it worth the $45 price tag? In short, yes. I think this wallet is worth it. So you're probably thinking, what's so good about it? It's just a wallet, it's just a wallet. I know. But what I love about it is that it's so thin, it's so quick, and it's so easy to use. So this is coming from a guy who's used a chunky Bifle wallet for the past two years. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know when my wallet's on me and I love that. But when you're running around all day and you have this big old brick in your back pocket, it gets kind of old, it gets kind of heavy, and I find myself just throwing it in the car seat or leaving it in the car because I don't want to tow it around all day. But with the Pilot, it's so thin, it's so small and compact, I can literally throw this in any pocket, and I don't even know it's there half the time. Which can be a bad thing because I like knowing my wallet's there. I don't like having to guess whether or not my wallet's there, which I've had to do with this a couple times. But that's just a testament to how small it is. Like it's literally a third of the width of, of my old wallet. It holds all my cards and little cash on me that I need. With, with this wallet, I find myself sticking tons of crap, receipts, old cards, and it ends up being like this thick monstrosity. You kind of, you have to end up cleaning out your wallet like you would your house. Now let's talk quality build. Now this wallet is built with the full grain leather. I went with the brown option. There are three other ones, olive gray, black, and a light brown. The stitching along the metal enclosure is super high quality, super tough. I don't think this wallet's gonna break down anytime soon. And since it's leather, it will obviously age, and I love the look of aged leather, and I'm really excited to see how it does over time. On that note, there are a couple things I don't like about this wallet. Now, obviously, this is a minimalist wallet, and it really only holds your cards. So I hope that it does that one job super well, and it kind of does. Now, Andar says this wallet holds anywhere from one to six cards, but in my experience, I've noticed that having six cards in your wallet at all times is probably the only way you should go. Even if you don't use six cards, I really only use two. I've learned that sticking cards in your wallet kinda helps to keep everything in check. What happens when you only have two cards in your wallet, they don't really move around, but they do come out a lot easier than they would if there were six cards. Another thing I don't like, this money strap isn't too, too reliable. Like I said, I don't really carry cash around, so I don't mind having a couple bills in here. But the money tends to slide around pretty easily. It could easily slip out. There's nothing holding this cash against the wallet. It's just a leather strap. It's not elastic or anything like that. Now though, it'll kind of shift around in your pocket. I've never experienced it coming out of the holster or have it like, like be loose in my pocket. The edges too tend to crinkle because they do slide very easily. And if you like your bills being clean and crispy, then this wallet is not for that. I definitely wouldn't feel safe holding a $100 bill in it like they advertise on their website, but it does do the job fairly well. The plastic lever at the bottom of the wallet is plastic, but it feels durable. However, there is one kind of major issue with it so far. Now, obviously the wallet's claim to fame is the lever card dispensing mechanism. You're gonna be playing with this wallet a lot. You're gonna be showing all your friends, you're gonna be doing that while you're waiting in a doctor's office or at work or in the car in traffic. You're gonna be messing around with this thing. And what I've noticed, that after three days, the lever tends to squeak. It gets super annoying super, super quick, and I can't help but notice it and feel it every time. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but it's enough to kind of get me to do something about it. So I contacted Andar and I spoke to one of the representatives and they said that if I put vegetable oil right there, like in a specific spot, 
that it'll get rid of the issue and that they are currently working on this issue and that they're aware that this is a thing going on. So now you and I are gonna test that out together to see if this resolves the issue. So what they told me, empty out your wallet, make sure there's nothing in it, and take a little bit of vegetable oil and put it right there where this lever meets this base. Just kind of place it right there and then activate it. Just kind of squeeze it in. And yeah, the squeak goes away. Just like that. Then just wipe the remainder of the oil and there you go. <laughs> squeak free pilot. Up, up, up. Okay. So yeah, Endar wants to help you. And this is the thing. This is the thing that really sticks out to me about this company and what I love the most about this wallet and the company itself. They have amazing, amazing customer service. Now, when I bought the wallet initially, I was greeted with a welcoming email, which I thought was a nice touch. Doesn't happen a lot. But then when I experienced the squeaking issue, I emailed the same guy. He got back to me within an hour and he actually solved the issue. The guy who helped me, his name is Jake. So if you ever watch this video, Jake, thank you so much for taking the time to help one of your customers out. It means the world and I will definitely be coming back to this company because of you. And just know this video is not sponsored by Andar at all. This is my first purchase with them, my first time ever even hearing about them. When someone deserves praise, I believe that praise deserves to be acknowledged. So finally, who is this wallet for? Well, if you're someone who only carries around cards and if you only have a couple bills on you, you don't have much going on, I would definitely recommend this wallet. Andar is a great company from what I can see so far and they provide excellent quality products. I'll definitely be coming back. Obviously, this is gonna be their biggest selling point for a while, but don't be afraid to check out their other wallets and other items on their website. Link will be in the description below as well. The Andar Pilot, is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? Is it worth the wait? My answer is a solid yes.